Hello, my name is Bruce White. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering here at UC Davis. And it's my pleasure today to be able to show and talk to you about the atmospheric boundary layer wind tunnel in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. And fortunately, it's a very forgiving facility, so it doesn't have to be remodeled uh, every year to still make good measurements. Our instrumentation, though, is quite modern, and uh, we have some of the most modern uh, data acquisition and data analysis uh, processes and techniques uh, that exist today. We have been looking at environmental applications all the way from uh, Martian dust storms to Owens Lake to City of San Francisco to innovative projects in Hawaii, natural cooling and venting, uh, to ballparks, uh, the AT&T, Pac Bell, we did the original studies that uh, suggested the rotation that exists today, very pleased with that result. We've looked at other sports facilities around the world, literally, and today we're talking and looking at this very unique uh, building project. This is 525 Golden Gate Avenue in San Francisco, California, and it, as far as I know, will be the world's first building that has a wing on it with the idea of producing uh, renewable energies through the use of wind energy devices, urban wind energy devices. This is an area that we've been looking at for a number of years with the California Energy Commission and the city of San Francisco and they came to us to look at this project that will funnel the wind uh, through the building and the building is curved to enhance the speed of the wind uh, between the airfoil and the building structure and in there we'll place three or four or five wind energy devices that will provide or supply power to the building in the idea of going towards a net zero building. Also, uh, this is the California uh, San Francisco PUC Public Utilities Commission building and they also are working uh, with other uh, agencies and units in terms of solar energy to achieve this uh, reduced energy usage as a demonstration project. Uh, this will be uh, very much an attention getter and we're very pleased to be able to be part of this and do the analysis. I think it will lead the way for uh, future developers and builders in cities all over the world to take this kind of a path towards renewable energy and sustainability.